Halloween has come and gone and we're all recovering from our candy comas. But what do we do with all that leftover candy, specifically the candy corn? Let me give you an idea. I'm Joel and this is 3D Printing Nerd. Before Halloween, we had Make Magazine sharing this print, and this is a candy corn launcher. It's a Thingiverse print, a Thingiverse model, and it's, well, it's fantastic. Make Magazine shared it out. My buddy Jeff over at the Print 3D channel, he printed it on his G-Max. Gordon over at G-Create printed one on their G-Max. I thought it was my turn. I should really print one of these things, and so I did. I printed two on the TiVo Little Monster in Matter Hackers Pro PLA. And I printed one on the Robo R2 in Hatchbox ABS. The prints turned out fantastic. Here's how it works. When you do the print, you've got this tall glass of water right here, and this is the main body of the launcher. You have these two, uh, I will call these the, the things that facilitate the speed increase of the candy corn, and these are two caps just to make it pretty. The launcher fires the candy corn out of these ends, and so these have to load in from either side. And then you take the caps, you put them on, and you have yourself a launcher. Next step is to fit some rubber bands through these holes and around the back of the launcher. And once you pull it back, you pull it down, and there's a little cutout here that keeps it in place. And then when you push down here, it moves forward. That's the candy corn launcher, but it's not that exciting without some candy corn. Hold on. We need some things to hold the candy corn. I've got these two fantastic cauldrons. This one was printed in Polylite PLA on the Taz 6 with the Moore Struder. Feels heavy, feels awesome. This one was printed in Matter Hackers Pro PLA, and this was printed on the Rays 3D N2 Plus. Very awesome. These cauldrons should hold candy corn just fine. All right. Let's get the candy corn. All right, we've got some candy corn. <laughs> we have a lot of candy corn. Uh, I just wanna tell you, when you go to Safeway and you buy 18 bags of candy corn, they do give you a, a funny look. Um, let's put some candy corn in the cauldron. We've now preloaded the cauldron with candy corn. I gotta tell you, I love candy corn. I don't, I, I don't know if you like candy corn, but you should. It's good. Mm -hmm. Now that we have corn, we need to test the launcher. I'm gonna pull these back. I'm gonna load. Oh man, I'm gonna load the launcher. I'm gonna put one candy corn in each launcher. All right, fire one. Fire two. Ah, oh, I almost got the camera. That's cool and all. I mean, it, it flung it, what, 15 feet, 15 feet? We have some more rubber bands here. Let's see if we can take this up a notch. Let's make a dangerous candy corn double-barreled shooter. I can't stop eating. Mm. Okay, so I'm trying to snake four rubber bands through each side, but the problem is rubber bands like to bind up a bit, so I just have to find a way to snake them through. I know this isn't proper use, but I wasn't given an instruction manual, much like the greatest American hero, right? He lost the manual to his suit. I lost the instruction book. This suit belongs in the Smithsonian. Wait, what? This is the test, ready? <laughs> okay, let's load the other side. Oh, I've got, I've got, um, I've got candy corn in my shoes. You're totally eating candy corn, aren't you? No, I'm not. We're loaded. Oh, jeez. Look at look at this. Look. Each side is loaded with four rubber bands meaning each launcher side, each tube is powered by eight rubber bands and they're doubled over. So it's just, it's got a lot of power. So if we can 
Bring it back. I'm gonna hurt myself, aren't I? Okay, that one's locked in. Tube one is loaded. Tube two is loaded. You ready? Holy cow. <laughs> okay. Wow, that launched them. That was pretty good. It went up a little bit. I'm gonna see if I can aim it towards the camera. <laughs> paper, here we go, paper. <laughs> Just hold it like this. Oh, it didn't go through. Well, that's a dent though. Did it leave a dent? Yeah, hey, let's try it one more time. Well, we tried. Josh was holding the paper tight, and even though we accelerated the candy corn quite faster than before, we were not able to get it through the paper. So, this leads me to believe that we need to build a bigger candy corn or candy launcher. So my idea next is to scale this up on the G-Max, get it a little bit bigger, use some much larger rubber bands, and see what sort of candy we can get accelerated through what sort of targets. Well, there you have it. We use 3D printing to create uh, an object that when augmented with rubber bands is able to accelerate candy at a rapid rate of speed. And depending on how much elasticity you had attached to the device, the candy could travel various distances while being accelerated from the device. That was kind of fun, a candy corn launcher. And now you know what to do with all of your leftover Halloween candy. All right, well, you know what? A big thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not, and be sure to hit that bell to be notified of when cool new stuff is uploaded to the channel. Big thanks to everybody that supports me via Patreon, YouTube Red, and for letting the ads play. Don't forget at the end of this, head over to Patreon and the High Five Club members get to take part in After the Five. But for now, don't forget to hug each other more, because I love you. As always, I love candy corn, and high five.